hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Enela and I do all things skincare beauty and lifestyle if this is your first time here please do not consider this video your last watch my other videos and please join the community here and if you're a returning viewer or subscriber notifications gang thank you so much for coming back to watch another video I appreciate you thank you so much for also clicking the thumbs up button because it helps the algorithm to push this content to other people who may also need it guys so today we are going to be talking about something that's really really important i compiled the list of my top five favorite sunscreens into uh like a script and that is exactly what we are going to be talking about today i'm going to be talking about five sunscreens that do not leave a white cast yes i am wondering when is just as important as any other part of your skincare routine okay and why is it that people find it difficult to actually choose the right one for their skin challenge for their skin type and for their skin peculiarities i'm going to be answering that question in today's video by recommending five sunscreens that i've used for you guys in the past i'll review some of them their pros and cons whether it is something you will enjoy using and it will also guide you on how to make a purchase for a very good sunscreen in future so if that sounds like something that you're interested in then of course continue to watch all right so the very first thing you need to know is this what is a sunscreen now this is important because it will uh, help to guide how you make a purchase for sunscreen now a sunscreen is an spf formulation that's sun protection formula ingredient or product that helps to protect the skin from both uva and uvb rays that's ultraviolet aging rays and ultraviolet burning rays so if you're buying a sunscreen and it does not protect you from the two then i don't think you should actually think of don't don't buy it at all because it is not doing what a sunscreen is supposed to do now um the reason why we use sunscreen after using our skincare products is because our skincare products actually form a cocktail of benefits that our skin needs however when we go outside in the sun because of prolonged exposure to both ultraviolet aging rays our skin can age really really fast when we are exposed without protection and then uh, because of prolonged exposure to ultraviolet burning rays, that's the way that penetrates into your skin, that triggers your skin to produce excess melanin that now evolves into you saying things like, okay, ever since I started my routine, I've just gotten darker. What if you're actually not being consistent with your sunscreen? Or what if your sunscreen is not doing enough when it comes to adequately protecting your skin from both the ultraviolet aging rays and ultraviolet burning rays? Now, there are two classes of sunscreens when it comes to you trying to choose the one that you need to get. We have the mineral sunscreen and the chemical sunscreen. And this is me like two years ago or three years ago, just starting skincare. I wish I saw like videos like this. And because of that, I decided that, okay, also in this video, I'll try to include this part of the tutorial for you guys to also understand. I was a bit confused. I was, I just had to try a lot of things to find my way and to figure everything out. All right, so a mineral sunscreen is characterized by the presence of an ingredient called zinc oxide or titan and titanium dioxide. So let me repeat myself. So if you pick up a mineral sunscreen, for example, you will see key ingredients like uh, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. However, if it is a chemical sunscreen, if you are able to check online on the um, company's directory where they list their ingredients i know the ordinary list their ingredients in a website for you guys to actually read or other companies like that if you click online and you check it you will see ingredients that are in your chemical sunscreen and one very key component of a chemical sunscreen is oxybenzone benzone oxybenzone and octinonate yes i hope i got that correctly i had to write it down because it's quite difficult to pronounce and sometimes fda that's a this uh, agency are brought some of them don't approve some chemical ingredients that are infused into sunscreens so you just want to be really really careful and not to uh go to extreme when you're trying to shop for any of these two categories okay all right so now when it comes to the top five sunscreens that i've used before i've classified them according to their texture their liquidity and the fact that they do not give white cast and this is really really important because here in Nigeria, and Af I'm African, I'm Nigerian, and that means that my complexion shows uh, if there's a white cast, it's going to be really, really bad. And if you're even dark in complexion, it is worse. So you want to be sure that your sunscreen is not giving a white cast. And this top five that I've compiled here do not give a white cast. 
All right, so the very first one that I want to review for you guys is the Cosrex Sun Aloe um, Hydrating Sunscreen. And the key ingredients in this one is aloe, cactus, and hyaluric acid that helps to just release moisturizing benefits to your skin, all the while still protecting your skin from both UVA and UVB rays. And it has an SPF rating of SPF 50. Now, the reason why this is the first one is because anytime I'm stranded and I don't see any of the sunscreens that I absolutely love, I resort back to the Cosrex Sun Aloe Hydrating um, Sunscreen. Now, it's a bit greasy. So if you're on the oily or um, extremely acne prone side, I would not suggest that you get the Cosrex. However, if you're normal combination or dry, you can actually try the Cosrex. And you just need about two finger spreads and it will do the job. And it retails for about um, 6,005 the last time I checked online. Okay, so the very next one is the Sun Cut UV Perfect Gel. And the first time I tried this sunscreen, I fell in love because it felt like a moisturizer. And this is supposed to be a sunscreen and I'm like, and it is pocket friendly. So the Sun Cut UV Perfect Gel is a Japanese uh, formulated sunscreen. It is liquidy. It's a bit watery but not so watery it's like in between however it does not produce as much grease as the cosrex sun aloe hydrating cream and one thing you need to know is that it is quick to apply and it leaves no white cast so all skin types including oily can actually use this one this cast it is always very hard for me to find so when i eventually get the sun cut be perfect gel I just get a message from my mom and she's like, my sunscreen has finished. So I end up almost giving out that one and then I have to go back to the Cosrex. So that is the story of my life. However, if I had the choice, I would always get and buy the Sun Cut UV Perfect Gel. I absolutely love it. It is not greasy. The formulation is sweet. It applies easily into the skin, absorbs very well, and it is sweat and water resistant. So that means if you swim, if you sweat, it will still stay on top of your skin. And of course, it is SPF 50. And then it also has a PA++++4 rating. I'll let you know what that means in the description box uh, down below. All right. And it retails for about, um, I don't know now if it's 6,000 or 6,005. It is also a drugstore option. It is not so expensive. So you do not have any excuse not to get it if you actually find it in the market. Okay, so the very next nice sunscreen that I want to talk about is the Nivea SPF Water Gel. And this is my least favorite sunscreen because it is too liquidy. It can be a bit greasy. And um, sometimes if you don't massage it properly into your skin, it can leave it uh, like a blanket, thin layer of white cast. And honestly, I don't really know but it is also a uh, water resistant and it has a pa one two three four plus kind of rating to like the um sun cut uv perfect gel okay all right so the very next one that i would like to review oh uh, okay, okay okay so the price of the nivea spf water gel is uh i don't know now but it's around that six thousand to seven thousand or seven thousand five also but it is bigger in terms of quantity more than the uh sun cut uv perfect gel the uh very next sunscreen that i would like to recommend for you guys or that i've tried before is the cods that c-o-t-z um uh, sunscreen and it's a mineral sunscreen and this is the only mineral sunscreen that i've tried that does not give me that very vivid white cast uh blanket stuff on my face i absolutely love this one it has a zinc oxide formulation of up to 3.8 percent it is really really nice it blends the more you massage it into your skin and it is a natural kind of sunscreen it prevents skin cancer it's uh, honestly it's the best when it comes to mineral sunscreens that i've tried it also has iron oxide that helps to gradually fade your skin uh spots on your face okay and this is exactly why i like the cot that's called mineral sunscreen and it retails for about 10,000 or 12,000 naira. It's a bit pricey, yes. And that's because of the very beautiful benefits that it gives to the skin. So you might want to just walk your way up if, you, if this is too expensive for you. For, if this is too expensive for you, because we've all been there before. <laughs> we've all been there before. All right, so the very next sunscreen that I'd like to talk about is the Black Girl Sunscreen. Yay! I know someone is very, very excited because they keep commenting it on my video. And you know, make sure you talk about sunscreens and talk about Black Girl Sunscreen. And um, this is a hybrid, a hybrid of both chemical and um, mineral sunscreen formulation. 
and it's greasy that's the thing that i don't like about this particular sunscreen it is greasy it does not give that matte skin like silky finish like all the other sunscreens that i've talked about my people may your mic not fail you on the day of judgment so my mic died all right so um you need to understand that sunscreen use is very very important you have to be consistent with it the way you are consistent with every other skincare product now personally i'm using the cosrx sun aloe hydrating cream and that's this chemical sunscreen and then i alternate it with the cod sunscreen that's the mineral one um both actually give you the benefits that i talked about now if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up please subscribe share my video with your friends get us to 10,000 subscribers i'm so so grateful thank you for all the warm comments thank you for uh, being a part of my community i'm so grateful and i'll talk to you guys in the very next one bye